Today I'm going to talk about the rock and roll icon Jim Morrison. He was the lead singer, the frontman of the rock and roll band The Doors. Uh, they were very popular in the 60s, uh, especially in the late 60s uh, with their hit songs like uh, L.A. Woman, uh, Light My Fire. And uh, Jim Morrison, he was um, a little bit out of control. He was a little bit out of the ordinary. He had his nicknames. He called himself the Lizard King and uh, Mr. Mojo Ryzen. Actually, uh, at concerts, he could uh, flip out could uh, really uh, be a little bit crazy and uh, start uh, things that people did not expect him to behave like this. Also, uh, he had some uh, very strange behaviors uh, against the security on the concerts. He could uh, humiliate the guards uh, that were supposed to protect him, spit on them or uh, just uh, rub himself against them. Uh, so it was not popular uh, among the security on the concerts. In my previous video I talked about John Lennon. Uh, I see some similarities between these two. Uh, they were both uh, successful in the 60s. Uh, they were uh, into music, rock and roll. Both uh, John Lennon and um, Jim Morrison, they were not only musicians. They were beyond music. Uh, Jim Morrison, for instance, uh, he uh, did poetry, he wrote some poetry, he uh, was an actor, He they made a movie, The Doors. Also with John Lennon, he was uh, a political activist. And uh, Jim Morrison, he had this uh, hostile attitude towards uh, society. He uh, claimed that they were exercising mind control on the people. He was sort of an anarchist. I uh, began to listen to The Doors. Uh, maybe 20 years ago. I did not know about the group before this. I also saw the movie The Doors and uh, at the, the Doors uh, live concerts uh, strange and unexpected things could happen. Uh, at one time, I don't remember where, uh, Jim Morrison was supposed to uh, start singing their the songs and uh, instead of doing that he starts to talk uh, about uh, strange things uh, like um, Adolf Hitler is still alive. I know because I slept with her last night. Come out from behind your false mustache, Adolf. I know you're there. So he obviously liked to shock people. The audience was not used to this uh, in the 60s. Nowadays, uh, people really tend to be numb. They've seen it all, that you can't shock the audience, but back then, this was really something out of the ordinary. Maybe that was a part of uh, their, their success that they did this uh, out of control things. You have this uh, front man, Jim Morrison, living his life to the max with no brakes, uh, out of control, like a loose cannon, everything can happen. And people did like that. And uh, maybe the reason of this to this was that uh, he was uh, uh, using drugs, and as for the most rock bands, rock stars uh, in the early 70s, uh, I guess that uh, Jim Morrison he got fed up with being a rock star, so he uh, moved to Paris with his girlfriend, uh, and he planned to stay there for to get inspiration, uh, write poetry, and uh, just uh, downshifting a little bit, take it easy, relax, and just forget about the the rock being a rock star. <laughs> So after a while, uh, the drugs took over his life completely, and uh, and one day his girlfriend fi found him uh, in the bathtub, and he was dead. He uh, had took an overdose of heroin, I think. So uh, and I that particular uh, way of dying, dying in your bathtub, uh, it reminds me of the French revolutionary Mara. He also died in a bathtub, and there's a very famous painting of him lying there in the bathtub. So, uh, also, I think that also was in Paris. So, um, Jim Morrison, he became a legend. And uh, now he's uh, lying there uh, in the cemetery, the Père Lachaise Cemetery, where he's buried. And uh, I have actually been there, it was three years ago, and it's a very Great. It's a great cemetery. It's a large, vast cemetery where all the celebrities are buried. 
you have to go in there and find the grave where he is uh, lying. When I was there, they had put up a fence and there was also a guard there uh, because people like to toss uh, beer cans and uh, cigarettes on his tomb to, to honor his memory. So that that's uh, where he's buried, uh, the Père Lachaise Cemetery. And uh, lots of people there, of course the Doors fans, uh, many Americans, they come there to uh, just see where he's buried, like, it's very, like, you feel the history when you're there and you can share a moment with Jim Morrison.